are watching this because you want to buy a rifle that's suitable for elephant, cape buffalo or rhino, and you want to put into the air the most amount of lead possible from a sporting firearm. Daryl Greatrex shows off one of the 12 incredible rifles made by his firm, Holland & Holland. It's a 700 bore Holland & Holland Nitro Express double rifle. It's a royal model. We had an American client who came in and wanted a 600 bore, yep. and at the time, we'd we'd made what we called the last 600 bore at, at a time when we thought that big calibre double rifles were dead and gone. So we made the last 600 bore, and with that went an undertaking that we'd never make another one. So we couldn't fulfil this customer's order for a 600. And being from California and being sort of fairly. Uh, strong and independent minded guy, he said, okay, what's the next biggest one? And we said, well, there isn't one. So he said, well, there is now, we'll make one. And uh, everybody laughed. And um, we said to him, go away, make the, right, make the cartridge and we'll make a rifle to go around it. And we didn't think we'd see much of him again. But, you know, 18 months or so later, yeah. after some correspondence, he, he came back and he developed a, a round. Right. Um, and so, you know, we had to fulfil our part of the bargain yeah. and we set to, to make a, a rifle to go with it. This is a big rifle, as you can see. Yeah. And one of the concerns at the time was whether or not uh, a human being could fire something quite as large as this. So, uh, the, you know, there were a few sort of medical opinions sought and in the end we decided, yes, it probably would work. So we found a guinea pig yeah. and they fired two cartridges and lived to tell the tale. So, um, <laughs> you know, that was the acid test. It weighs um, 18 and a half pounds. Right. So it's not something you could carry around with you um, on a, a all day long sort of basis. Fires a, a, a bullet that weighs a thousand grains. And if you compare that to say, the 577 or the 600 ball that fires a 750 grain bullet and um, it's you know 250 grains larger bullet you know 25 percent bigger um, and if uh, the bullet travels at about 2,000 feet per second when it hits something it really makes an impression. Engraving um, is um, very unusual that was done for us by um, an engraver called Philippe Griffney who's become very very well known not just because of our rifle. Um, he was pretty well known before he worked on it, but it, it, he's certainly someone that's become associated with, with Holland and Holland, um, uh, particularly when it comes to the um, heavy chiseling style of engraving. You can see there's a, a massive amount of relief on, on the action of the gun, and that's, um, that's Philippe's style. It's, it's much bigger, and everybody acknowledges this, it's much bigger than anything you really need. Yeah. But it was, um, as it were, a fun project and uh, it certainly caused a stir in its yeah. day. For more on this rifle, look it up on www.hollandandholland.com.